welcome to UK History Lessons. This video is going to be about the Norman Conquest of England and the Battle of Hastings in 1066. The Norman Conquest of England began on the 14th of October 1066, when William, Duke of Normandy, defeated the Anglo-Saxon King Harold at the Battle of Hastings. However, the story of the Norman Conquest begins much earlier on than that. When King Edward the Confessor died in January 1066, there were three main contenders to the throne. Firstly, there was Harold Godwinson, the wealthiest and most powerful nobleman in all of England. He was the Earl of Wessex, as well as Edward's brother-in-law. Harold was named successor by Edward on his deathbed, and he was crowned king on the 5th of January. However, to complicate things, there was a problem. In 1064, Harold Godwinson had allegedly signed a deal with William of Normandy, stating that if he ever became King of England, he would hand the crown over to William. This deal was sworn on holy relics, according to Norman sources, which meant that Harold was in for some serious trouble if he weren't back on it. William of Normandy was a distant blood relative of Edward the Confessor, and Norman sources state that in 1051 he had been promised the throne of England by Edward. So Edward had actually spent most of his young adult life in Normandy, between the ages of about 13 and 38, and in many ways he was actually more Norman than Anglo-Saxon. William of Normandy was actually supported in his campaign for the crown by the Pope, which added extra legitimacy for him. The third and final claimant, and arguably the weakest, was Harald Hadrada. He was the King of Norway, and claimed through the Danish line of succession. The final Danish King of England was Harthur Knut, who was succeeded by Edward the Confessor. In early September 1066, Harald Hadrada landed on the Yorkshire coast with 300 Viking longships, and spent some time raiding up and down the coast. His pillaging was put to a stop by Harold Godwinson at the Battle of Stamford Bridge on the 25th of September 1066. At the Battle of Stamford Bridge, Harold Hadrada was defeated and killed by Harold Godwinson's Anglo-Saxon army. Harold had fought off his first rival, however four days later, on the 29th of September, William landed in Pevensey in East Sussex. William landed with a large army and a 700 ship fleet. After two weeks of marching, Harold's army finally reached Sussex from Yorkshire. Harold's army was largely made of foot soldiers, some of whom were armed with only farm equipment. They were exhausted and many soldiers had been left behind along the long walk. The two armies met at Senlac Hill near Hastings on the 14th of October 1066. Harold's army was about 8,000 strong, whereas William's army was 10,000 strong and included cavalrymen. In the morning, Harold gathered his troops on the top of a hill and formed a wall of shields. The Norman foot soldiers began firing arrows whilst the cavalrymen tried to charge up the hill. However, they were mainly unsuccessful. After about two hours, a rumour started spreading in the battle that William of Normandy had actually been killed. Norman soldiers began to flee as they thought that they were about to be defeated. This was a big problem for William, so he had to remove his helmet and yell at his soldiers to prove that he was still alive. Later on, William's army pretended to run away and the Saxons chased after them. It was at this point that William got his archers to break through the Anglo-Saxon shield wall. Harold's house cars, a trained group of personal bodyguards, formed a circle of shields around him. However, it was not enough and Harold, along with his brothers Gerth and Lefwin, were killed. Historians are unsure as to whether Harold was killed with an arrow in his eye, as the popular story goes, or whether he was actually killed by a cavalryman with a sword. By the end of the day, the Normans had defeated the Anglo-Saxons. They then began to loot much of England. Eventually, William was crowned king at Westminster Abbey on the 25th of December, 1066. 